Hey, in this video, we're going to be installing Proxmox on a Dell Vertex blade. So I'm going to go ahead and log into the Vertex main chassis. And from there, we're going to log into the blade that I have VMware 6.5 on. We're going to get rid of 6.5 and install Proxmox on top of it. So just logging into Blade 1 now. Since this blade has VMware on it, um, we'll go ahead and read the file system that had the VMware VMs on it, but I'm not going to import any of them. Uh, if you need to import, you can. I'll have links to other videos where I show how to import the VMs because honestly, the VMs on this uh, 6.5 VM are really, really old. Nothing I need. Okay, so first I'm going to select my media, connect virtual media, choose my file. And that's over here. So I can do either one of these. I'll pick this one because this is a duplicate. And I'm going to click map the device. And go ahead and close that. Now I'm going to select it to boot for my virtual CD. Yes. Then I'm going to power this down. And it should boot off that device now. Some of these parts I'm going to fast forward through so you don't have to wait because um, installation can be a slow process. If you guys are interested in any videos on how to update Vertex blades or anything through DRAC, let me know in the comments. And as you can see here, here it's set to boot on the virtual CD, and here you can see the media is connected. Looks like it's complaining, so I'm going to hit F1. Here, I'm just going to install Proxmox Graphical. That's what most of you will use. Are all shared storage. So I'm going to select SDE, which is the onboard drive for this Vertex blade. Next, US time zone, we change to New York. Here we go. Yes, English. Password, I'm going to do my super secret password. And for this, I'm just going to not give my email address. Uh, 
and just do, do sales at proxmox.com. Would help if I spell it right. Is I really don't care about this uh, VM. I'm not going to be doing anything. Well, not VM, but Proxmox install. And I am going to call it V1 for Blade 1. And that nick is fine. Since it is a, a vertex blade, you have four different nicks to choose one, but. Number one is good, so I'm going to do next. Looks good. Install. Then let it run. Okay, so it has finished uh, installing and it's rebooted. So it's 192.168.69.171. So we're going to go to that. Advanced proceed. Oops. Okay, so right now we've got the no valid subscription to the server. So I've got a workaround for that. And this usually works better from SSHing directly into the host. So I'm going to do that. 192, 168. 69.171. Yes. Put this to a root. And we'll just run it from here. Okay. From here. A normal reboot does not fix this, so I'm going to shut it down. Again, a normal reboot doesn't do it, but a shutdown will. So if I close out of here, you should see the console. I might actually have that up still. Yep, here it is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and power it back on. Yes. And it should come right up. Just takes it a minute. Okay, I'm going to hit enter. Okay, we're at the login prompt. We don't need that anymore. So let's go ahead and browse to it. HTTPS 192.168.69.171.48006. Okay, and we didn't get the prompt this time. Okay, so go to repositories. And let's disable the enterprise because I'm not using it. And now if I go back to shell, we can do apt install minus y vmfs6 dash tools. And normally, if you're just doing Proxmox, you 
don't need to install this. I'm only installing this so we can browse the CMFS volumes. Apt update minus Y, and then we can do apt upgrade minus Y, and that would upgrade it from command line. But you can also do it from the interface. So let's go to summary, updates. We can do a refresh. And you can also do it from here. So let's just click upgrade. And this is the same thing as doing it from command line. Okay, the system's updated. We can either stay in the shell here, but, um, and normally I would reboot, but for the sake of this video, I'm actually gonna close this out, go back to shell here, and I'm gonna do F disk minus L, disk SDE, this is my, uh, this is where VMware was installed, but this is now where Proxmox is. We've also got SDB1, SDA1, SDC1, and SDD. Since this was a shared, uh, I've got shared storage on this uh, Vertex, and it's got dual paths. So if you look, SDB1 is 1.3 terabytes, and it's VMware VMFS. SD D1 is the same one because it's shared storage with dual paths. So that's the same thing. And we've also got SDC1, which is 18.2 terabytes. And SDA1 is the same as that. So I know it's shared storage, but what we can do is let's do this. Control L, we'll clear it. Make mount SDA one SD B one SD C one and SD B one. So what I did, what I've done is created I've made new directories in the mount directory. So now let's actually mount these. So we installed VMFS six tools. So I can do VMF six tool. And I'm hitting tab to auto complete. Okay, so let's do um user has been the ff6 tools okay user bin no VMFS. Okay. VM six views. Dev SDA one to mount SDA one. Okay. So if I do an LS minus AL mount SDA1, 
you can see our VMware file system. I'm going to control L to clear the screen and up arrow. STB one. So I'm mounting dev STB one to mount STB one. So if I do a DF minus H, I have SDA one, which is 37 gigs and SDB one, which is 2.7 gigs. So let's also do SDC one. and STD one. Okay, if I do uh, F minus H, so SDA one is 37 gigs, SDC one is 37 gigs, SDB one is 2.7 gigs and SDD is 2.7 gigs and let's just do a ls minus al mount we'll do sdb1 first sdb1 and i'm going to pipe it to more so we've got october 15 2018 we've got these files i'm going to hit escape With SDD, it's the same thing. So, so it's we're mounting the file system twice just because it's dual mount. So if you wanted to import that VM, let's look to SDA one. This is where our VMs are stored. So if I go to SDA one, let's do Veeam two, for example. There's the VMDKs form. And I've got another video how you would import a VMDK. I'm not going to get into that for now. Um, best practice, we just ran an update. Best practice is to reboot the the host for now, but I'm not really going to be using this system, so I just did it for this video. So I'm going to stop the video for now. Thank you.